Cowpea is a major staple food crop in the sub-Saharan Africa, especially in the dry savanna regions of West Africa. The seeds are a major source of plant proteins and vitamins for man, feed for animals, and also a source of cash income. The young leaves and mature pods are eaten as vegetables. Cowpea can be grown under rain-fed conditions as well as by using irrigation or residual moisture along river or lake flood plains during the dry season. Cowpea performs well in agroecological zones where the rainfall range is between 500 mm and 1200 mm per year. Early maturing cowpea varieties can thrive where rainfall is less than 500 mm per year. It is tolerant to drought and well adapted to sandy and poor soils. However, best yields are obtained in well-drained sandy loam to clay loam soils. For zero tillage land preparation, clear the site of shrubs and stubble. Control burning measures can be employed when trash is heavy. Alternatively, spray the field with recommended herbicides to kill emerging weeds. In tillage or mechanized farming, plow and harrow the field to provide sufficient tilth for good root growth. Erect cowpea varieties should be planted at a spacing of 50 to 60 centimeters between rows and 20 centimeters within rows, especially for extra early varieties maturing between 60 to 70 days. For semi-erect varieties, spacing should be 75 centimeters between rows and 25 to 30 centimeters within rows. For prostate varieties, plant at a spacing of 75 centimeters between rows and 50 centimeters within rows. To enhance easy germination, pre-soak your seed overnight. For all recommended plant spacings, sow 2 seeds per hill or 3 seeds per hill and thin to 2 plants per stand at 2 weeks after planting. Sow seeds at a depth of 2.5 to 5 cm for most varieties. Planting seeds more than 5 cm deep will delay emergence. The seeds may rot and plant stand will be uneven. Manual weed control is the most common method used by farmers in cowpea production. Weed cowpea twice with the hoe, first at 2 weeks after planting, and secondly at four to five weeks after planting to ensure a clean field. Poor weed control or delay in weeding causes a drastic reduction in yield. Before you spray, wear protective clothing. Use an overall, Wellington boots, gloves, goggles and nose guards or masks. Apply any of the recommended insecticides early in the morning or late in the evening. The most common methods of applying chemicals are the use of 
high volume or ultra low volume knapsack sprayers. Half fill the knapsack sprayer with water and add specified volume of insecticide and shake the knapsack to obtain a uniform mixture. Top up the uniform mixture with water to the recommended liter level graduation on the knapsack sprayer. With help, strap the knapsack sprayer gently at your back. Generally, two to three sprays with insecticides are required for a good crop of cowpea depending on the severity of insect attack and also on the cowpea variety. Late cowpea maturing variety require more sprays than early maturing varieties because of the staggered flowering periods. Conduct the first spraying between 30 and 35 days, that's 4 to 5 weeks after planting when flower buds initiation has started. This will control trips and an early attack of Maruka pod borer and ensure good flowering between 7 to 9 weeks. For varieties susceptible to aphids, one spraying may be needed at seedling stage that's 14 to 21 days after planting. Conduct the second spraying 10 days after the first spraying when the crop is in full flowering and podding. Conduct the third spraying when necessary 10 days after the second spraying for medium to late maturing varieties and when there is a heavy attack of maruka and pod bugs. Harvest cowpea when the pods are fully mature and dry. In early maturing and erect variety, one picking may be sufficient. For indeterminate or prostate varieties, the dried pods can be picked two or three times. The pods do not mature at the same time because of staggered flowering period. After harvest, trash the cowpea pod, clean the seeds, and separate them from the chaff or homes through winnowing.